83. This book says that the computer only really understands numbers. But then why does it understand when I type so many things in word? And then music, images and videos. I think there is something wrong in this book. No silly, the book is right. You haven't understood it properly. You're always saying that. Then at least explain what mistakes am I making. Okay. You know how people speak different languages in different countries? For example, how people in China speak Chinese? Nin hao, wong ting ti, nin jiao xin mi min ji. Salu, mon nom is Miri. Komen bule wu fai. So Miri, a French person may not understand Chinese and a Chinese person may not understand Tamil. Similarly, the computer has its own set of languages which the machine understands. They are called binary systems. But Tiri, they only use the numbers 0 and 1. Why not all numbers? See Miri, the numbers 0, 1, 2 up to 9 represent the decimal system. There are 10 distinctive values in the system. Ah, but as we saw earlier, the computer only understands on and off. Exactly, Miri. So the computer only understands 0 equals off or no charge and 1 equals on or positive charge. Now I'm starting to understand theory. Go on. So the 0 and 1 language is called binary and each 0 or 1 is called a bit which is a short form for binary digit. This is the smallest unit of data for the binary system. So, Tiri, what you mean to say is that every time I press a key on the keyboard, the computer translates it into zeros and ones for it to understand. Yes, but over the years, there have been different ways to translating the characters, just like different languages. These codes use a set of 8 bits, which equals 1 byte. One such coding system is called ASCII, ASCII. Very few want to type the letter A. It translates into 01000001. Generally, all microsystems use this system only. Which other coding systems are there, Thiri? Well, there is APSIDIC, E-B-C-D-I-C, APSIDIC, which was developed by the computer company IBM and used for large computers. It would translate the character A into 1100-0001. And similarly, we can see for these other characters also. I see theory. But then, do these binary coding systems represent all languages? I mean, I find Chinese or Tamil very different to English characters. This was the same problem which was felt. As languages like Chinese have lot of characters and using this coding system is difficult. So a new system called Unicode was established which would support both APSI and EPSEDIC systems. But it used 16-bit codes instead of 8-bit codes used by the earlier ones. So, Tiri, this would mean that all computers can easily understand each other as they all speak in 0 and 1. By following similar standards, that precise problem is on the verge of being eliminated. And therefore, we don't face any problems from transferring data from one system to another. But if a computer running ASCII's tries to share data with a computer running ASTICS, then it is like... Uh, I can imagine what must be happening. Luckily, Miri, if it is ever required, there are special translation programs which transfer data from one coding system to another. 